Welcome to another Excel tutorial brought to you by ExcelLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor Richard Rost. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you about two of the lesser known lookup functions in Excel called Match and Index. Now I love lookup functions. Lookup functions let you pull information from other parts of your spreadsheet. For example, one of my favorite lookup functions is VLOOKUP, which stands for Vertical Lookup. And in one of my other tutorials, I show you how to use VLOOKUP to figure out a student's letter grade if you know their final average. Well, VLOOKUP is wonderful, but it has some limitations. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use two other powerful lookup functions called MATCH and INDEX. By themselves, they don't do a lot, but when you use them together, they can do all kinds of great things. For example, take this sample spreadsheet of computer courses that I teach. I've got a list of computer courses over here, Word 1, Word 2, and so on, the course code, and then the price based on the number of students that a client enrolls. I give quantity discounts if you enroll 3, 5, 10, or 20 students in a class. What I want to do down here is type in the code for the class, the number of students, and then have Excel figure out the price. So let's say I've got Word 101, so WR 101. The number of students, let's say 5. Now how do I figure out the price looking at Word 101 and 5 students? I need that number right there. Well first I need to figure out in what position in this column does Word 101 exist? Well it exists in the first position. So we need Excel to figure that out. To do that, we'll use the match function. And I'll come over here. We can hide this value later if we want to. I'll say equals match, open parentheses, what value am I looking up? Well, I'm looking up Word 101, comma. Where is my lookup array? Right here. That's the range of cells that you're looking that value up in, comma. There are a couple of different match types. I'm going to pick an exact match. I need to find that value exactly. Close the parentheses, press enter. Now I know that Word 101 exists in the first cell or the first row in this range. If I change this to Word 103, that changes to a 3. Now that I know what row my value is in, I need to figure out which column to get this value from. So again, I'll come down here and use the match function, equals match. Where's my lookup value? This guy right here, number 5, comma. Where's my lookup array? This time it's up here, comma. Now, there's different match types. I don't want an exact match, because what if the person types in 7 students? I want to find the value that is less than or equal to the value that was typed in. So I'll pick a less than search. Close my parentheses and press enter. Five happens to be the third item here. If I type in a six, it's also still the third item. If I type in 11, now it's the fourth item because I get the quantity 10 discount. Now that I know the row and the column for the value that I want, we can use the index function to go get it equals index open parenthesis where's my array this is my array right here this big range is where all of my values are comma what row number this one comma which column number this one close the parentheses press enter and my price is twenty four dollars word 103 ten students twenty four dollars if I change this, let's say to Access 101 and two students, the price is now $30 per student, right here. And that's how we can use Match and Index together with both exact matching and range matching to figure out the values in our sheet. Now if I seem like I went kind of fast, I apologize. I cover this stuff in a lot more detail in my full class. 
All of these functions are covered in my Excel 2010 Expert Level 4 class. We go over several examples with VLOOKUP, MATCH and INDEX, and I show you a lot of other functions like ADDRESS and INDIRECT. You'll see that VLOOKUP example where you can look up a student's letter grade based on their final average. We'll create an employee timesheet and you'll be able to look up the employee's pay rate and calculate their total pay for the day based on their start time and end time. Using address and indirect, you'll be able to calculate year-to-date sales or the sales between any two months. Type in February and August and get the sales just between those months. One of the questions I get asked all the time is how to compare two lists. For example, an employee list and then a list of which employees made sales. Well, who's missing from the sales list? We'll be able to compare two lists using the match and index functions. Another popular request is finding the closest value to a target number. We'll also see how to do that. So for more information on this course, visit ExcelLearningZone.com and look for Excel 2010 Expert Level 4. YouTube viewers, this special is just for you. Go to this special link, 599cd.com slash XYT M-A-T-C-H. That's XYT Match. You'll get a 25% discount off of any order, including this course, for any of my tutorials.